Ho ho, me hearties! A very, very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on the big one just for you. TikTok live. How fantastic is that? Wonderful stuff. Now then, I'm just going to get everything sorted out for you right away. There we are. Fantastic. And then I can see you all and you can see me. And that's what matters. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a Tuesday evening. Nothing gets past me, you see. Hi, this is Anonymous. Hi, Dinky Do Anonymous. Lovely to have you with us. And a big Dinky Do to you. You're watching Scotty McClure, the one stop broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. You're very kind. Not at all, Anonymous. So are you. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome to TikTok's Top talk show just for you dinky do you're amazing no not at all anonymous so are you you are amazing and you're very very welcome here i can tell you that for nothing lovely to have you with us and dinky do now lots and lots of people joining us if you're scrolling you can stop here so fantastic stuff stop and come and join us and have a little bit of entertainment and infotainment just for you scotty mcclue saying dinky do to every one of you how amazing is that dinky do so you are amazing local uh, we don't do pronouns on here we're far too modern for that so we're all inclusive so nobody has to explain themselves in any way shape or form how how amazing is that? Fantastic. Uh, what's your opinions on communism? Well, it hasn't really worked, has it? Let's be honest about it. So I don't think we'll go down that road for far too long. 2900. Uh, welcome, welcome, guys. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, the one stop broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. This is the big one. I love you so much. I thank you very much. That's very kind of you to say so. Have you followed me? Do you love me enough to follow me, I say? Can I get a shout out? Yes, you can get a shout out, Dark Knight TV. Uh, so who's your favorite communist dictator? Oh, I think my favorite communist dictator would have to be, uh, wait till we see now. Oh, I haven't got one. What a shame. Never mind. Uh, there we go. Would you rather be a turkey or a leprechaun? I think I'd rather be a, a leprechaun because there's a chance of living past Christmas, you see. There we are. Uh, can you do us a shout out? Yes, I can indeed. Absolutely. No problem at all. There we are. You happy you can hug your family next week? Of course, of course. It's tremendous news. Wonderful, wonderful news. Share the video, guys, and follow me as soon as you come on. So much to talk about, so little time to do it in, as always. So they are minus Stalin. You do know he killed millions and millions and millions of people, don't you? Stalin. Yes, there we are. Greetings, Scotty, from Bristol. We love it. Yes, indeed. Uh, there we go. Do you like the town of Motherwell? I don't like the town of Motherwell, no. I love the town of Motherwell. Fantastic. Good evening from Yorkshire, Dinky you do. Uh, Texas here, lovely to have you with us, Texas. And a very, very warm welcome from the United States of America. Fantastic, Dinky you do. Come and join us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. A lot to get through. Do you like the Welsh? I don't like the Welsh. I love the Welsh. How amazing is this? that. Up the SNP says Tony Bahoy. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Do follow us as soon as you come on. What do you think of the Ballymurphy verdicts today against British state murders in Belfast? Well, you see, you could go on and on down the road of, uh, you know, the murders by the Irish of all these beautiful, beautiful people like Lord Mountbatten, like uh, Airy Neve, you know, that was another one that they killed, like everybody at Omar, the Inniskillen bombing, you know what I mean? If you, if you go down that road, but that's not a road we should go down. All these innocent people murdered by terrorists. So uh, I think we're best to just uh, uh, accept everything that's gone on. And that is that. There's nothing more we can do. We can't take it all back. And of course, now we're at peace. 
which is wonderful. So there we are, dinky doo. There's somebody say, boom, 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 let me hear you say, well, no problem, Sim, we can do that. Hey, Scotty, dinky doo, how are you doing? Up the Royal Artillery, says Stevie Evie Evie. Yes, indeed, the Royal Artillery, the Gunners. Yes, the British Army. Fantastic. You're a British Army officer, Stevie, I take it. Welcome, welcome, I say. You're serving the Queen. That's what we like to see. The British government not helping. Well, I mean, you know, what do you do, Stair, you know? Time to move on, I say. Hello, how are you, dinky do? What's 10 in French? Oh, that would be D. D, absolutely. Yes, set wheat and if D. Yes, all right, mate, how's your day been, dinky do? Hey, my day has been outstanding. Thank you very much. Shout out to my friend. Yes, indeed, Pickles, a big shout out to your friend. No problem at all. So there we are. Stevie, Beavy, Evie, Evie, Beavy. You just got owned. Excited for the Lions Tour? Well, everybody is, aren't they? Everybody's excited for the Lions Tour. Let's have it straight. So there we are. Hi, how are you? You're very kind. Thank you very much, introvert. Up the custard cream, says Angela. Angela, always good to have you on here. And as I say, up the custard creams. Guys, can you get following? We need to get more and and more and more followers, very short followers. La hoop, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. So there we are. Are you straight? Uh, well, I'm straight down the middle when it comes to talking. I can tell you that. So there we are, dinky do. Followers, as soon as you come on, guys, you're very, very welcome and lovely to have you with us. Also, somebody have a look at uh, all the TikTok videos just for you. What's the weather like in Scotland at the moment? It's cleared a little, mill. Yes, but it has been bucketing rain as well. What about the Man City champions? Oh, indeed, what about them, I say? Mr. Bond says hi from his cookie store in America. Thank you, do. Not in a rude way. How are you? I'm absolutely wonderful. Celtic Rangers says Stevie, Evie, Beavie, Evie. Go and see them both play, Stevie, and see what you think. If you're a Royal Artillery man and you serve the Queen, I would think, you know, you could make up your mind. But see who plays the best football and you don't have to stick with it you can change after a week you know a lot of people support rangers one week celtic the next week that sort of idea i love your hat thank you so much very much appreciated and dinky do dinky do scotty sparkles how lovely to have you with us fantastic we haven't had you on for some time where in Scotland are you from? From all of it, Krista. Yes, I am Mr. Scotland. I speak for the people of Scotland. I am the voice of Scotland. So there we are. Fantastic. Shout out to uh, Henry and Alfie. Yes, absolutely. You're the true first lord of the internet, my man, Scotty. Absolutely. There we are. Royal Artillery. Fire at will. Poor Will. <laughs> Fantastic. Very good. All joke, but funny. There we are. Thank you, doing, my Scotty. How are you doing, young man? No problem at all, Shaz. Are you an artillery officer? No, I'm not an artillery officer. So there you are. But I do understand artillery. And I've seen the one o'clock gun go off. There we go. Fantastic stuff. Now, do join us. Uh, Pierre, we don't tend to do second names of individuals if it can be avoided. Can everybody share this right now? If you're watching right now live on TikTok, TikTok, Stock Talk Show, get sharing and sharing and sharing as soon as you possibly can. Also check out all the videos and get on to the YouTube channel, guys. Sometimes some of you are a little bit slow at finding the YouTube channel. You go, Scotty, how do I find your YouTube channel? If you look down at my profile, it's staring you right in the face. How easy is that, I say? Are you still in the radio, Scotty, mate? Uh, not at the moment, Willie. I came off the radio last year because they wanted to put on uh, love songs in the evening because uh, I think it was a bit much for everybody at the weekend, late nights. You know what I mean? Maria Knight has just joined us. Maria, how lovely to have you with us. And, of course, as always, Maria is so beautifully kind. A lovely, lovely, lovely person. 
Wilson. Greetings from Holland. Ah, ja. Da wird der Hus Wilson Cup of Tea happen. Fantastic. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Very, very important. Are you an imposter? No, Schnitzel. I am the genuine Scotty McClue, the big one. Two billion people have heard of Scotty McClure. Is that not amazing? Maria, thank you so much. That is so kind of you. Such a lovely, lovely person. And she's sending me TikToks as a gift. Share this, please, guys, and follow us. Would you like to go to South Africa? Yes, you speak Dutch very well. I'm wearing my klumpen right now. Fantastic schnitzel. Badges for charity, any updates? No, no, I've got one here, a Scotty McClure badge. And, of course, I have my own entitled, entitled badge. There we are. The world's most desirable man in the world. Fantastic. Isn't that beautiful? The most desirable man in the world. Wonderful stuff. We like that. Dinky do. how are you? We are beautiful, Mubu. Thank you very much for coming on, Mubu. Now, uh, I'm just going to see if anybody's followed us yet. We need some followers, guys, and we need some likes. So if somebody's in a liking mood, you could go and like the videos for me. So there we go. How's your day, you legend, Scotty? Sambi, lovely to have you with us. Maria has given me over 200 TikToks. She's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. And tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live on TikTok just for you. This is the big one. How amazing is that? Maria, how do you do two at the one time? Guys, can you see what Maria's doing here? She's got two TikToks going at the one time. One sending thousands, and she's got another one sending at the same time. How do you do that? What's the shield above your portrait? That's my old school, dear boy. There we are, 250 TikToks Maria sent. Now she's sending more. Now, is that not generous? Is that not beautiful? How lovely is that? Google says your net worth is over 1 million. 1 million TikToks. Woo! So there we are. Fantastic. 1 million pennies, I would say. Are you pro-Palestine? Well, nobody's anti-Palestine, are they? I mean, let's have it straight. You know, the British used to be in Palestine. Uh, where about in Scotland are you from? From Olivet? Do you think the royal family will become less important after the death of the Queen? No, not at all. This happened, you see, if you check your history, when Queen Victoria got very old, there were people protesting, going, huh, it's time for a monarchy, all these thickos, right? Then uh, we got King Edward VII, her son, who was 60 at the time. He took over and he was massively massively popular, and then his son took over as George V, the Queen's grandfather. So there we are. So not a problem. The royal family are very, very popular, and nobody in this country would ever want to be without them. There you are. They're also self-financing and bring us in fortunes. Will you please the squeeze box? I might well do. I love your beard, mate. Thank you. Yes, the first lord of the internet needs to be selling merch. Yes, what we will do, if you get me to a high level on TikTok, we need to do a lot better than that, I can tell you. I've got 11,700 followers, and uh, when you think about it, well over half a million have you the lives. Scotty, you're looking mighty sharp. I thank you very much. That's very, very kind of you. What will happen if Scotland leaves the Union? Scotland will leave the Union. That's what will happen. There we are. The real um, separatists, of course, have been Westminster because they went for Brexit. And Brexit can mean only one thing, economic annihilation and uh, the political fragmentation of the United Kingdom. There's nothing else for it. So we know who to point the finger at as the UK breaks up. When will you be back on radio? Hopefully sooner rather than later, Sparacles. If we have Scottish independence, the Scotty McClue was tipped to take over broadcasting in Scotland. To run it, run the whole show. What about that? Is that not amazing? There we are. Uh, what have we got here? There's Paddy with his Union flags. Have a good look at that, Paddy, because it might not stay that way. The blue background and the white cross may disappear. Oh, my goodness me. What do we do about that? Mm. Oh, 
Oh, that's lush. Absolutely gorgeous. There you are. Uh, are you a Tory? What is a Tory? People ask that. I wonder what they mean by it. There we are. I've never sort of uh, come across a Tory. What is a Tory? What constitutes a Tory? There's tonight's question. What is a Tory? Right, we don't see much of them in Scotland, is all I can tell you. They're a very, very rare species. That's cloudy looking water. Well, that alcohol is apple cider vinegar and water. That's why it's a little bit cloudy, you see. The apple cider vinegar with the mother. Dinky do, dinky do, train and bus. Poor whales are not represented in the UK flag, no. And they might be leaving as well. So it'll really just be the flag of St. George that will be left, I would suspect. And maybe the flag of St. Patrick from Ireland. Good evening, sir, from Rutland. Charlie, we love Rutland. Dinky do. Halley says, a Tory has no brain. Oh, that's a bit harsh. Everybody's got a brain. What's your opinion on Harry and Meghan? Well, I used to think they were great people, but they completely plummeted. After doing that interview, they just went, boom, you know, and hit the deck. You know, I mean, how can you respect people that have been given everything in life and dump on their own family who gave them it? I don't know. There we are. Now, who have we got here? Big Dave, I don't know what you're doing with that. I don't understand what you're asking. There we are. Where are you from? I'm from the universe. I'm a child of the universe. Scotty McClue, the World Stop broadcaster. That's the big one. The first lord of the internet. Dinky doo to every single one of you. What's up, Scotty? Nothing's up, Chevy. All is well. Everything's up to date in Kansas City, as they say. True, absolutely true, Milank. Yes, there you go. One day we shall get our original flag back. Yes, dear, your original flag. So is that the Union flag? Is that the uh, what we call the Union Jack? R.I.P. Prince Philip. So there you are. Hello, Scotty, from a cold Faroe Islands. Hello from a cold British Isles. There we are. Dinky do follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. There we go. Dinky do Scotty, way I man. How are you? Shakaroni, why I? I was Wallace. Yes, indeed. Favorite country you visited? Every country I visited is my favorite. I adore them. What's your favorite movie? Well, we were just saying that uh, we thought that the, um, oh, uh, what what's it called now? Yes, the Imitation Game. Yeah, the one with Benedict Cumberbatch playing Alan Turing, who uh, shortened the war by two years, by cracking the Enigma code. Scotty, do you know our flag, the Old Republic flag it was called? Oh, that's going way, 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 way back there. Absolutely. Hello from the capital. You're very interesting. I thank you, ITV. Very kind of you. Call me Elizabeth. Have you had a good day, Scotty? So there we are. Yes, yes, we had a very, very good day. Thank you for asking. Uh, so there we go. What have we got here? What's the biggest mountain range in Europe? Oh, it'll be, is it the Alps, the Pyrenees, the the Ardennes, you know, I don't know, you tell me, fantastic, if you're in Europe, are you not talking the Alps, um, I just had an enigma, yes, absolutely, fantastic, the enigma, hello, me old mucker, can you go away, please, mate, no, I'm here, Dylan, you go away, I was here first, and I might be older than you, there we are, Tinto Hill, Jack, we love Tinto Hill, how fantastic is that? I know it's a true flag, not one altered. Yeah, a stare. The Brits haven't altered anything. You know, I mean, you're looking at the peace, the peace between the orange and the green. Not a problem. So there you go. You mustn't have this thing about the Brits. Remember, the Brits are Irish. Yes, very important. All Brits are Irish. Yes, or from the continent. They're Europeans. What was the oldest town in Scotland? The oldest town in Scotland. That's quite an interesting one. I would have thought it would have been Edinburgh. You know, but Glasgow's pretty old, although it was a, a fishing village, you see. Glasgow. Aberdeen. Aberdeen might be the oldest town. The original village for Aberdeen was Foot D or Fiddy. 
Fiddy, I do know about Fiddy. What are you talking about, says ITV? We're talking about everything, ITV. This is the all-encompassing talk show. What's, uh, hang on a second, what have we got here? What's your favourite thing about the morning? Uh, popping up live on TikTok. I popped up this morning at 10 minutes to 7 in the morning and had a word with everybody. Was it not a Scottish king who united the kingdom? No, it's a Scottish king. No, 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 Hans. The crowns, the two kingdoms were united in 1603 by James VI of Scotland becoming James I of England and taking over the English crown. So the monarchy is a Scottish institution. Then in 1707, Queen Anne, who was a Stuart and should have known better, got up to a bit of no good, a bit of jiggery pokery. King William had almost bankrupted Scotland, and she knew she could get it cheap, so for a few quid, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 quid, she bribed the nobles who were bust from fighting each other. So they took the money, they took the 30 pieces of silver, the silver, yes, like betraying Christ, and um, she managed to get the two countries together, but Scotland's economy was so strong, it had to seriously devalue the pound Scots to facilitate economic union. So 1603, then 1707, 314 years this year, uh, was the union of the parliaments. What's going to happen next is the parliaments will be split, but the union of the crowns will remain, and the crown will remain Scottish. Glasgow Fishing Village, how, that's what it was, Aldo, until they deepened the river. It was just a wee fishing village by the banks of the Molen Diner Burn, which flows down near to the old cathedral. And, uh, you know, it had, it had been visited by uh, St. Mungo, yes, or St. Kentigern. So there you are. So it was just a wee fishing village uh, with quite shallow water. You could walk across the Clyde in those days. Don't try that now, folks, and don't try that at home. That's for historical purposes only. So there we go. You have it now, Aido. You got it from McClure, the oldest times, Dundee. Ah, yes, you're a really interesting chap. Your live videos are one of the best on TikTok. Top comment, me lank. I can't thank you enough. You're a delightful person. What's the biggest, the River Thames or the Trent? Well, the Thames flows all the way, way up in Oxfordshire, all the way out to... Well, it'll be South End, doesn't it? And it comes out into the North Sea. So the Thames, I think, would be longer than the Trent. But don't quote me on it. There we are. Have you ever been to a village fete, Scotty? Shakaroni? I have opened so many village fetes, I've lost count. So there you are. Absolutely, Scotty McClure. Scotland used to be great, but now you have democracy. <laughs> You're very, very funny. Keep up the good work, King William of Orange. Yes, Jack, he was quite dodgy. I don't want to upset our poor old friends in the Orange Lodge, but he was a very dodgy guy. Um, you know, nowadays I think he'd have been in the slammer, put it that way, for what he got up to. Uh, so there we are, Liz Lilibet, so there we go, fantastic, yes indeed Lenny, she is your queen, Dundee is the oldest city, Scotty, January the 26th, 1889, oh, as a city, ah, how very interesting, so are you sure Aberdeen wasn't before that, or Dundee? Remember 1690, King Billy and the Well, 1690, you see, was when they should have put James II, the rightful heir to the throne, on the throne, Jamie Stewart. But his own family stabbed him in the back. Uh, so he should have been the king, and they parachuted in uh, Queen Anne, you see. Now... Your problem, your problem here was they then passed the act of succession to say that no Roman Catholic could occupy the throne because it had been Catholic, Protestant, Catholic, Protestant all down the years. And they wanted to see if they could stop Rome from uh, influencing the monarch.
Now, obviously, Henry VIII had already set the scene for that uh, in the 1500s by breaking away. But this was when they said no Catholic can sit on the throne, because Henry VIII was Catholic, you see. So, the problem that you then had, they pushed this through the House of Commons by one vote. One vote. Yeah, so that's just a wee bit, wee bit suspect as well, that sort of thing. And King William, you see, was the start. He didn't really have a lot of power. He was the start of uh, constitutional monarchy as we know it today. So Parliament is in charge. There's Maria sending me TikToks. What an angel. Lovely, lovely person. Can you explain the Battle of Culloden? Yes, the Battle of Culloden, there was quite a big lead up to it. You had the massacre of Glencoe when King William had signed orders and they went via the Earl of Stair and the Campbells got up in the night and murdered the Macdonald. That was very bad news, yes. So, and still to this day, the Campbells get accused of being backstabbers, you see. So they'd done that. They were with the government. And then they set up a government police set up, which was police and army. And it was the Black Watch. The Black Watch was the regiment. So they'd been set up. And then the culmination of fighting to keep a Stuart on the throne was 1715. Yeah, sorry, 1746. There was the risings, not rebellions, not rebellions, risings of the 15 and the 45. The 45 they tried to put down, the culmination of the 45 was in 1746. Was it April 1746? You had the Battle of Culloden at Inverness, and that was the last stand of Bonnie Prince Charlie against the Hanoverians, the king's brother, William Duke of Cumberland, known as Stinking Billy. There we are. So that's you for you. The Jacobites, the followers of James. Your opinion on Speaker John Berko. Fantastic man, Melank. Fantastic man. Wonderful, wonderful speaker of the House of Commons. And actually, I would have said, should be credited with saving the democracy of the House of Commons. Yeah, when you had people telling porky pies and John Berko defended the whole thing. Yes, and made a stand to save his country. So that man should be in the House of Lords if he wants to be. There we are. Yes, he should be Sir John Berkel. Dundee, the oldest city, Scotty. Yes, right, okay. January 1889. So, fantastic. Jack says he watches the Glasgow Rangers. Everybody watches the Glasgow Rangers, especially the Glasgow Celtic. Can you do the hokey cookie? No, I can't, Shakaruni, because for a while I was obsessed with the hokey cookie. And um, I went to my doctor. And he said to me, uh, I'm going to admit you to a clinic. So I put my whole self in. And then I took my whole self out. And I've turned myself around. And that's what it's all about. How good is that? Uh, did you see the combat in the Falklands? Yes, indeed, Beans. If you go on to YouTube, you'll hear Scotty McClue addressing the Falklands to through Falklands Radio uh, on uh, St. Andrew's Day. So put in Scotty McClure, Falklands, St. Andrew's Day to your YouTube and you will hear Scotty McClure. Fantastic. What do you reckon to Doncaster? Donny? Well, you know, I used to not think much of Doncaster and uh, I remember slagging it off in the radio one night and I went to Doncaster and the heads of the council and the mayor took me round Doncaster and I was most impressed. Most impressed. So, uh, hello from Quebec. Oui, oui, bonjour, bonsoir, bonsoir, Emilie. Parlez-vous français? Oui, oui, are you from French Canada? Maria, what are you doing, my darling angel? She's going to send me 500 TikToks. I feel it in my water. Maria's going to send us the TikToks. Dinky-doo, Maria. There we are. 
What would happen if Scotland got independence, but World War III starts? Well, hopefully, Aido, there'll be no World War III, and Scotland wouldn't be fighting in it. Celtic Rangers, says Casanova, my advice to you, Kaz, if I may call you that, is to go and see both teams play, make some notes, and then decide who you want to follow. Now, you can follow either or none, or you can change a lot of Celtic Rangers people, swap teams at times. You know, that's the thing to be doing. Dinky do. So there we go. What have we got here? Uh, Scotland would be neutral. Wow. Um, I like listening to you. I thank you, Paul. Very, very kind of you. Would you believe there's around 3,000 castles in Scotland? The honour of their own story. Scrabble, I wouldn't just believe it. I would think that's about right, just with a quick calculation in my head. Uh, where do you think's the nicest place in Scotland? Ooh, Danny, where are McClue's sitting on TikTok right now? That's the nicest place in Scotland. Charles Dinky do Scotland is virtual reality. Mincent Teddy is the future. Fantastic Daily Milk. Thank you. Daily Milk and Mincent Teddy. John B. should have had no opinion but wanted to remain in Europe and made things difficult. No, no. You need to make things difficult. He didn't have an opinion, but what he did do was talk common sense and beautiful, beautiful words. Fantastic. There we are. Uh, what's the difference between genetic memory and mental memory? Well, genetic memory is when you say things like, um, you know, uh, would you like to hire a bike and go for a bike ride? Oh, no, 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 I, I, I can't go on a bike. I fell off a bike when I was 12 and hurt my knee. Oh, genetic memory. You think that's when you were to, Maria, what are you doing? I said, no more than 500, you're at 690. Maria sent us 700. Look. 700 TikToks now. There we are. So that's what I would say. Mental memory is just your memory. You think, oh, yes, I can remember that. But genetic memory takes you back to a time before. Hi from Italy. See. Si. Yes, buongiorno, buongiorno. Lovely to have you with us. Bella, bella, bellissimo. Lizzy. Si, si. I'm from Malaysia, says Neem. Neem, lovely to have you with us from Malaysia. So there we are. Je spiel le kick golf. Nah, 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 nah. Not golf. Uh, Rapsy or Jack and Victor, both, both. They reckon that I was the inspiration for Still Game with my bonnet. Isn't that amazing? Fantastic. Followers, guys. Why are you ignoring my question about Boris Johnson? What did you ask about him? Have you climbed Ben Lady in calendar? That's me again. Oh, yes, indeed. Ben Lady. Yes, I haven't, but I know of it. I've heard tell of it, as an old lady said to me in um, down in Devon. Nice place, Dundee. Lovely place, Dundee. I'm starving. I'm off for a pay. Right. Uh, Maria is at 800 and coming up to 850. Wow. Inverness is the best place in Scotland, says ITV. I think the thing is, ITV, they do speak the best English in the whole of the United Kingdom. In Inverness, they say everything properly. There we go. Maria is at coming up to 900, guys. Ooh, Maria, how can I thank you? He's not ignoring you. He hasn't seen it yet, says Anthony. Good one, Anthony. Thank you. I'm going to say you're the, you are for me the best grandpa on TikTok. I'm so proud of you. Keep it up. Dedo, thank you so much. You are very kind. Maria, my goodness me. Uh, Tom and Terry have sent some of the Union flag. Let's take a good look at it so we can remember it. John B., uh, yes, no, 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 Debbie, stop talking nonsense. Scotty, when are we going to get the good weather? I'm frozen. I know. I've still got heat on. And it's costing a fortune. Maria, thank you. Guys, can we watch what Maria's doing here? She's sending me another thousand TikToks. Another thousand. 
and she's now at 990. Maria, please stop at a thousand. I don't want you to bankrupt yourself. Stop. No. Maria's gone past a thousand, guys. What's she doing? How lovely is that? Casanova sent us pictures of the Irish tricola. There we are. Have you ever been to Ireland? Lenny, I know every blade of grass in Ireland. The lot. You need to start being nicer to each other. Scotty, it's not like you to ignore me, but I think you're brilliant. Scotty boy, I have never ignored you and never would. Uh, Scotty, when will Scotland join the space race? Well, I think let's get independence from Westminster first. Let's get back into the EU and then let's look at all sorts of possibilities. Rebuilding our economy. Once all the children in Scotland have been fed, once everybody is comfortable, then we will look at the space race. So it's a bit down the road. Greetings from Iceland. Remember what we're paying off when you're getting told we're recovering from COVID. Yes, we are. We are recovering, big style. But remember that the bulk of the economy is uh, Brexit. Yes, and we're 200 billion pounds worse off from Brexit. And not a word gets said about that. I wonder why. Scotty, can you give us another? What, what, what was that? Um, Mr. Berko, or Debbie, chuck it in. The man was outstanding. So there we go. I won't hear a word against him. There we go. And the sooner we get him in the House of Lords, the better. And his, uh, his control of the House of Commons, his speech, outstanding. We will agree to disagree. No, we don't agree to disagree, Debbie, because remember, I deal in facts. You can't disagree with facts. There's somebody who says, I'm Irish and a mem member of the SNP. Wow, you get about, don't you? Maria, thank you so much. I wonder if there are any Scottish Sinn Féin members <laughs> or Scottish DUP members. Do you like still game? Yes, I do. I actually thoroughly enjoy it, you know, but I wouldn't like people to think that's the way everyone in Scotland is. I love this one, Debbie. You need to do some research. Do you realize, Debbie, I was broadcasting live on television and radio before there was any internet. I have done 50 years of proper research. I have got two degrees, an IQ of 164, right? I have studied international affairs, politics, economics, finance, the monarchy, leadership. So I don't think you need to ever tell Scotty McClure you need to do some research. <laughs> oh, most Irish, Scottish, RSNP. Is that right, Casanova? Ah, SNP and Fianna Foyle. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Fianna Foyle bankrupted Ireland, Lenny, says Casanova. Gosh, you lot love fighting each other, don't you? Why don't you just all fall in love with each other again? Uh, how long is a piece of string? Oh, Maria is at... 1,390, 1,400 TikToks. Incredible, incredible woman. I don't know what to say. Incredible. Maria's gone for another 14. Oh, she's still going. I love these lives, dinky do Maria Knight, you're such a lovely, lovely lady. Are you enjoying the lives? Is everybody enjoying the lives, guys? Have you all followed me? Scotty, we should get a discount on sunglasses because we live in Scotland. You missed a few facts about Mr. Scotty. Probably busy studying. Yes, I mean, I'm not doubting that, you know, you've got a point of view. We'd love to, Scotty, if it never happened. The Brits stayed put. Stare. If it wasn't for the Brits, you'd all have starved in 1840. My goodness me, they sent all the, uh, the people over to get you over the potato blight. The communications were slow. Mm. By 1840, remember, you had the United Kingdom. We invite you to Ireland to be our king, Scotty. Casanova, that would be the greatest privilege ever given to a human being. 
So there we are, the King of Ireland. Fantastic. Hey, man, how are you? Sam, lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. Hey, man, how are you? I'm just looking at this wonderful Maria here. She's sending me almost 1,600 TikToks. Go Rangers! Yes, but if I say go Rangers, I have to say, I'm on the hoops! There we go. Now, Scott, good day, Scotty. Good to see you. Ted, Ted Zappa from Australia. The High King of Ireland. Scotty McClure. People forget how much knowledge Scotty has. Scrag, you're very, very kind. So there you are. Now, the only thing is you made a joke the other night, and please never, ever repeat it. Was that right? Because I had to scrap the whole broadcast. You're a good man. Thank you, Ted. So are you. Not anything like as good as Maria Knight, though, any of us. Guys, this lady has given Scotty McClue thousands and thousands of TikToks. She's so generous. It's so beautiful. What's your favorite thing about history? My favorite thing about history, I think Scotland taking over the monarchy of England and Ireland. I think that was incredible. We did starve, Scotty. A million died. No, no, but listen, you're forgetting. Well over a million would have died in the UK as well. We're all in the same boat, remember. So there you are. So don't think you've got a monopoly on uh, mortality. Yes, a few beers, my mistake, won't happen again. No, but I was only thinking, Scrag, a lot of people listen to this. You know what I'm saying. So there we go. So please don't repeat it. Do you have any facts about Nessie the monster? Well, I haven't actually seen her, but she's bound to exist because the Scots would never tell a lie. Maria has just gone over 1,000. 760 TikToks. Piece of string, Scotty man, absolutely. I think all our Irish brothers and sisters, north, south, east and west, should join hands and dance. Now, nobody dances better than the Irish except the Scottish. So instead of going to war, Scottish country dancing. I would like to go to Jerusalem and to Palestine and teach every day Scottish country dancing. Scotty, do you think the mountains shrink as they get older? Uh, there will be movement, Dairy Milk, because the mountains weren't always there, you see. It was when the ice melted and shoved the earth up into big piles. Or, well, sorry, when the Ice Age came. Are you happy to meet people indoors now, or do you think it's too soon? Well, Debbie, I tend not to rush these things, you know. This is why I love the fact we're on TikTok. It's COVID proof. Do you see what I mean? How long is a piece of... Look at the time. I need to go soon, guys. Bye, Scotty. I've got to go. Have an amazing live. ITV trick shot. You are such a top man. Lovely to have you with us, Nicky Do. Do you read lots of books, Scotty? Danny, I never, ever, ever have stopped. Because the more I learn, the wider my knowledge becomes, the more I realize how little I actually know. And I would love a hundred lifetimes. You know, because a life is just too short to do all the reading. I heard the other night that if you wanted to look at all the videos on YouTube, you would need to live for a thousand years. So we might as well make a start with Scotty McClue. Maria is coming up to 2,000 TikToks. Maria, you must, you must stop at 2,000. She is just so kind and so lovely. I can't, I've never seen generosity like this. Guys, watch Maria's TikToks. Can you see them in front of you there? She's going to come, she's going to hit 2,000, she's going to come up to 2,000. 3, 2, 1, and 2,000 now! Maria! Woo! How beautiful is Maria? How do you solve a problem like Maria? Give us a bit about our stare. Irish history is so ancient and so complex, you could never just give somebody a bit about it. Do you know what I mean? Can you not answer the question about the string? How long is a piece of string? Well, how long do you want it to be? Maria Knight, thank you so much. Stay or stop being a victim. Yes. 
sound advice. That goes to everybody like Stair. Stop being a victim. There we are. Uh, should Scotland be independent? Oh, I think it's unavoidable now. Brexit sealed that fate. Yes, Brexit sealed the UK's fate. The second Brexit went through, the UK started to crumble because 70 million, almost 70 million people got robbed of their EU citizenship. The right to work abroad, jobs went, the economy went, our seat at the big table in the EU went. There's just no benefit in Brexit unless you're a billionaire and you wanted to save on tax. Yes, there's what I would say to you. Do you have moderators? I don't bother Robin because we only get the odd troll on here and the odd troll and they don't really matter. Do you know what I mean? They are nothing. And we turn them into toast unless they want to convert to proper viewers and come and join us on Scotty McClure's TikTok. It's actually equidistant from the centre. We believe you are correct. You are 100% correct on that. What do you think about the Palestine-Israel issue? I'm very, very sorry to hear about it. Stair says they oppressed us for 800 years, saying the Brits were decent back then. Of course they were decent. You've never really been oppressed at all. Have a look at your life and ask what's oppressed about you and what's ever been oppressed about you. You just had nothing to do, so you thought you'd stir up trouble. Why leave the United Kingdom to join the United Europe? Because Westminster takes from Scotland, Europe gives to Scotland. That's what it's all about. This guy's hilarious. David, I thank you so much. You are very kind. I agree, Stair. Every county has been invaded and colonized. Yeah, but they've gone now. I mean, that's all gone. You know, Scotland's the same, but you don't see Scotland shouting the odds, do you? One benefit of Brexit, we got our COVID vaccination order quicker. We did, Debbie. I'll, get, I'll grant you that one. We must agree to agree. There we are. Right, I'm going to have to dash, guys. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain. Au revoir and a cheery oh. Dinky do, my darlings. Thanks for watching. Have a safe and peaceful good night. Take great care of yourself. If you're uh, one of Stairs, guys, thank your lucky stars. You're the, the luckiest people in the world. From me, Scotty McClure, to every single one of you, Dinky do. God bless. Night, night, and ta la -las.